sleep paralysis usually happen mostly before you go to sleep or when you are about to wake up and it usually affect very many even normal people and it's very quite frequent to those people with sleeping disorders and um, what usually happen here is you can feel your muscles but they cannot move at all you cannot be able to control them at any point sometimes you might even feel that maybe you've been frozen maybe when you are shocked by electricity you cannot move at all or maybe something very heavy placed on your muscles or on your body so your brains can be able to tell exactly what's going on around so they're quite conscious at that point but you cannot be able to move any of your muscles so it's a very scary state to be in and mostly scares people very 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 often it's a very nasty situation now I'm going to explain to you how that usually happen and by the way this is usually highly associated to demon attacks spiritual attacks and so many other of those things but I'm going to give you a scientific explanation as to why this usually happen now um first of all let's go directly to a normal sleep we have stages during sleep you can just go google and uh, get to know the stages we have um rapid eye movement non rapid eye movement you can just go and figure uh, out what those are during the sleeping stage but in this one i'm going to explain exactly uh, how sleeping uh, paralysis usually happen which is uh, mostly when uh, you're about to sleep or when you're about to wake up now as a normal cycle usually happen this way um you go to bed uh, or maybe you start feeling sleepy you want to lie maybe on your on the couch or maybe on your bed uh, the first thing that usually gets switched off they are your brains so the voluntary part of your brains you have two a part or two sections of your brains you have the involuntary and you have the voluntary sections of the brain so the voluntary section of the brains will coordinate or then control the voluntary muscles like for example i want to close my eyes like that so i can just instruct my brains to coordinate the muscles that connect to my eyelids yeah and i instruct that and give an instruction that i need i, I want to close them we have others which are reflexes which kind of border somewhere close to now the involuntary so we go to the involuntary muscles where now you find something like the heart the muscles need to keep beating forever until you die since you're born or they too when you die so the involuntary part of the brains they are always on they are just there working but the involuntary part of the uh, brains which usually coordinate like we said the the voluntary muscles it doesn't require um, to be on all the time so what usually happen when you're sleeping is it's usually go to a resting stage now this is a description of a normal sleep what's going to happen the first thing when you go to bed uh, before you sleep or when you are feeling sleepy first of all the voluntary part of your brains kind of switched off and then the muscles follow so all the muscles will be like switched off so that and this is a very um, important aspect in your body which will prevent you from uh, acting on your dreams because in case maybe you are dreaming and uh, your muscles are on what will happen is you can act on your dream you can even mo- actually we have people usually have those um, those disorders and uh, if you have that disorder this is the case what usually happen here is uh, your brains will uh forget to switch off the voluntary part of the muscles and then what will happen is you can just act on your dreams so first thing that usually happen here is when you're sleeping your your, your brains will first of all get unconscious kind of go to sleeping state and then your muscles will be switched off completely that's the sequence now when you're waking up now the opposite happens your muscles will first of all be the first thing to be switched on so by the time in your brains the voluntary part of their brains they are coming back to life or they are coming back to consciousness they are coming back to find out the muscles which are already switched on they are ready to move out of bed or move out of the couch or wherever you're sleeping so that time uh, that's a very very normal complete sleep pattern Now what usually happen is when uh, the roles reverse like for example when you're about to sleep and uh, your muscles are first of all switched off uh, before your brain goes unconscious what will happen is your brain will still be aware of exactly what's happening around but because your muscles kind of have been switched off they have been frozen you cannot be able to 
feel anything, move anything, or do anything at all at that point. You can breathe, you can even feel everything that's going around, but you cannot move an inch of your muscle. You cannot scream, you cannot call for help, so you, you're just there helpless. And then when you're waking up, also the reverse happens. You regain your consciousness at that point, but your muscles are still frozen. They are kind of, they're not um, up at all, so they are still there waiting for whatever is going to happen to wake them up. So by the time the muscles are, are coming to be, you've been in a situation where you cannot move any of your muscle and it's, it's very, very scary. That's how that usually happens. Now, in case maybe you want to, or you usually get uh, several episodes of this, what I would advise you will be just change your sleeping pattern. Try to create a sleeping pattern whereby you know my schedule, I want to sleep from this point to this point, so that your brains can be able to accommodate that and they will be able to schedule everything according to how you've planned. Now, something else, you, you can change the sleeping position. Um, this episode of sleep paralysis is highly associated when uh, you're sleeping on your back. So in case maybe you are mostly sleeping on your back, you're getting these episodes, try now sleeping on your stomach. And uh, I'm, I'm sure they, they are going to reduce. Uh, something else, in case maybe you have an underlying condition, a psychological condition, you need to see a specialist to go and uh, diagnose and treat whatever um, uh, situation or condition that you have. And uh, it will automatically resolve this. Yeah, so that was our informative session. So in case people are interested in more of this, just make sure you follow us and like the video and share to those people you think that will be interested. Until the next time, 